not having a place or like a studio like I used to have in Germany, it's scary. Here they gave me this place and it was at the first time so little and then I started to make it big for me myself. But at the first time it was scary so how, how are you gonna do my big paintings or how are you gonna work with that and you used to have like a certain marks, certain materials that you use and I don't have this here anymore so I have to rediscover everything. I'm an art student major making an exchange program here in California. I was born in Spain uh, and my family come from Argentina. My major is focused on paintings, sculptures and drawing. I used to make very classical paintings, learning about my skills and Coming from Spain, uh, I always have been influenced from painters who used to use the woman figure as a concept. Not at all as a sexual point of view, more about the artistic and beauty. And to use the, the human body as a carrier of different emotions or situations, even if they are political or about emotion of people or relationships or some sort of society situation that this has been going on in different times in the history. Rather than having an Argentinian family, it's more about where my family come from. We are not from the colonial part of the Argentinians, we are Native Americans, called Mapuches. And I always was talking about that we come from them, but I never understood really what it was. And yeah, my professor used to say to me, so yeah, you need to find some concepts or subjects, what is inspires you. And one day it came to my mind, yeah, Mapuches, my culture. And I start to dig in, I start to remember how I am how I used to be when I was a child, so I was a very wild child, so... Uh, and started to ask myself why I am the way I am. There is one thing that always kept my attention. They used to be in the whole Patagonian figures it calls Chemamuls. And they are very similar to the way I do my figures. I capture the expressions of the faces and there is a very similar figures that you find from the culture of the Quechuas in Peru or in Ecuador. I used to have like the same thing. They are all represented with a pottery in the head that is connected with the history of how the water wanted to grow and destroy the humanity and the fire wanted to save the, the humanity. So during this fight, the people has to go to the mountains to hide in the mountains because of the pottery they had in their head, they will capture the water of the rain and survive long enough after the fight was over and they could go down and live again. So. I still own my people for what I am. I started to discover that I think, so hey, it cannot be only me doing beautiful paintings. I was starting to find a way to be myself and I found it here and getting away uh, from Germany and coming here away from everything, all luxury or my studio, coming here and starting from zero helped me a lot. The biggest confrontation for all was uh, the education system that we have. It was like going back to the school. People giving me assignments, giving me homeworks, giving me, so yeah, you have to make certain kind of paintings for this week. I never was in there because I was always from the idea, so yeah, you cannot force art. They teach art like they will teach economics or physics. At the first point coming from Europe, it's confront you, it, it scares you and also like it, it makes you angry because you say, hey, come on. But yeah, I think when you force yourself in being in this kind of situations, 
the best of yourselves can come out too. I started a uh, very big painting, 15 feet long, and um, it represents in a certain way my experience so far that I have made from the beginning to the end of my experience here in California. Even if I complain sometimes about what happens or how the things are here, this experience gives me something that I will never be able to see or experience if I will stay comfortable there in Germany with my fancy studio, my clean things and all this. So, certain way is like an explosion and at the same time, the end of a chapter. It's the end of an era of paintings that I have done to give him space of a new beginning that is coming. And what is coming, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm excited to see what happens. I grow a lot, I learned a lot from people here, and I th I'm glad also to come back and carry all these things back to where I live and show the people what I have done. So. <laughs>